What's up, Five Tribe? We've got lights, we've got camera, we've got a little bit of action. Today I'm gonna to be doing a product review on the Grav Grip V2 Hydraulic Leveling Gimbal for your action camera, as well as Grav Grip's extendable selfie pole. Uh, we're gonna be opening these guys up, taking a look at what's in the box, testing it out in the field, and I'll let you know what I think about it. Let's get into it. All right, so upon opening this guy, let's take a look what's inside. It's very big. Oh, we got a sticker. Heck yeah. So it's very basic. Uh, most of the components are made of plastic. Um, you've got your swing arm here. You're going to take this guy off. This is what sets this mount up. You've got a couple mounts. This is for your camera itself. And then this last little piece here. So this guy is going to go right in here. And that's going to connect to your camera. And this is going to lock that in like so. Very nice. And then this guy actually adjusts. This is going to be where you set your camera. I'll get that to that in a minute. And this guy's going to actually go on your action camera. So I'm going to set that up and then we'll get all this squared away. Uh, and I'll open up the selfie stick. All right, I'll show you guys the camera. So we throw this here. It's just like any other GoPro accessory. That's locked in. And then this guy screws in right here. Hey, uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty easy to set up. All right, let's open up the selfie stick now. All right, so with our Grav Grip extendable selfie stick here, let's see what's in the box. Oh, some little pieces there. Cool. All right, this looks like another connector. Cool. Looks like it's got a little lanyard. That's nice for us uh, boarding folk. Don't want to lose this guy. A little uh, carabiner on the end. Nice spongy grip. Of course, the logo. And then we've got some uh, locking points. You just unscrew to extend. So this plastic piece is just a uh, manufactured kind of wrench to get a little extra love to these pieces to tighten and loosen. So we're going to take that gimbal itself and attach it to our selfie stick here. Just like so. Awesome, so we are all hooked up here. And as you can see, gravity driven. So the amount of swivel you have in this arm is determined by how far you have your camera pulled up or down. So if I have it all the way up like that, you're gonna have minimal swing. Whereas if you have it pulled all the way, now you're maximum. Now it's very swingy. Pretty cool. So, what it suggests in the manual is to start halfway, and then depending on whatever sport or activity you're doing, you can adjust as needed. And I find that just about a little bit before halfway is pretty good for uh, what I've got going on. So, let's get into some uh, application. All right, so let's troubleshoot this gimbal. You want it to be nice and smooth here when you move up and down. Not too fast, not too slow. The camera should just stay at a steady axis point there. For your Grav Grip selfie pole, it actually has a lanyard for you board riders out there. You don't want to lose it in the drink. Make sure you cinch this boy down. There we go, nice and secure. And for you dads out there, we've got this handy dandy 
little uh, carabiner. Just put that in your belt loop. You are good to go, sir. And for the selfie stick itself, you can actually extend this guy. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. My special self forgot it here. Uh, hello, Lefty Lucy. There you go, Lefty Lucy. You can extend that guy right up. Righty tighty. You got 13 to 33 inches here. So fully extended 33 inches. And this attachment point from the gimbal to the selfie pole itself, you can actually adjust for different angles that you want to hold the pole. So you're going to want to adjust this and tighten it before you start shooting and find a comfortable angle that you want to hold for your specific shot that you're shooting. All right, and then lastly, you can actually rotate the camera itself and have this nice other dimension of shooting. So now I can go horizontal rather than just vertical. All right, and then I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I shoot this shot of this doom buggy. I go low, I go high, and then I go low again, and then exit high here. And then we'll just see what the camera picked up there. Nice and smooth transitions. Just glides from low up to high, not too much swivel. And then back down as we hover alongside the buggy, setting up for this nice transition shot here. We're testing it in motion. I'm skateboarding behind my wife, shooting low to high here with this nice high transition, and now doing high to low transition. Very smooth, very nice. And here I turn that axis of that camera around to do a selfie shot while in motion with that 33 inch pole. Definitely have some range to get a nice clear shot. Very cool. So the main reason I purchased this gimbal is it's all mechanical and waterproof. Uh, there's no electronic component, so I don't have to worry about ruining anything. Uh, it's all gravity fed and I do a lot of shooting on the water, so this is perfect. One thing that I will note is if you are in salt water, like I am, that you, every time you're done shooting, you take all of this apart and rinse, thoroughly rinse all of this. You know, even the, the selfie stick, before you collapse, you're rinsing all this so you don't have any salt corrosion and your gear lasts forever. Awesome, so I'm gonna wrap up this review. Great gimbal for extreme sports, especially water sports. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, hit the like. Subscribe if you like the channel. Till next time, peace.